Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new here, it's Shagar and Asan. On today's video, I am going to be doing a basic night routine with you guys because my, my night routine kind of changes up depending on what I need and what I've done lately. So I'm pretty much going to show you guys what I do on a daily and it's pretty simple. So you don't have to go out and get like a bunch of crazy stuff if you guys want to do a night routine like I do. We'll start in two days and I'm literally fighting with my kids to go to bed. So if you guys hear them in the background, do not mind them. Let's jump right into this video. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up all right guys so i'm actually gonna take a shower first because that's usually what i do i've been like sticky all day i always take a shower before i go to bed because i believe that your bed is supposed to be like one of the cleanest places you have since you actually like lay in it like eight to ten hours a night most people lay in it eight to ten hours a night sometimes i lay in mine like 11 or 12 hours a night i just want to remind you guys too that i do have a lot of professional skincare products because i am a, a licensed esthetician i did go to school for it but again i don't use professional products every single night i only use them when i need them like if i'm starting to break out or if I feel like my skin tone is starting to get off or whatever the case is, I only use those professional products when I need them because they are very expensive. So what I'm showing you today is kind of like what I do on a daily and a lot of the stuff you can get from like um, Walgreens or the local drugstore, Walmart, wherever you guys shop at. So I'm gonna start off with taking a shower. I'm gonna show you guys what I use in the shower. So to wash my hair, I use Dove shampoo and conditioner. I'm not a cosmetologist, so I don't use anything professional for my hair. Even though every time I look at my hair done, they're always like, that stuff's so bad for you. I'm like, I know, but I use it. I like it, the way it makes my hair. It smells good and I feel like it cleans my head. I don't know, but that's just kind of what I use. Let me know in the comments down below what kind of shampoo and conditioner you guys use. And then of course I use Dove body wash. This is what I'm gonna be using tonight in my shower, which I use every night. Um, I try to stick with a dove. I always get different like scents and stuff like that. I don't have sensitive skin. I sent Edward to the store to buy body wash and this is what him and Benny came home with. But no, I don't have sensitive skin. I don't know why they bought this one. It kind of doesn't even really have a smell to it. I mean, I guess it does. It smells like baby. But I usually get just whatever smells good. So there's that, that's the dove body wash I use. And then I usually wash my face in the shower, but since I'm doing the video for you guys, I'm gonna get out and wash my face. And this is what I use to wash my face. We always keep it in the shower. I use tea tree oil because it helps with like, inflammation, pimples, stuff like that. So tea tree oil is really good on helping your skin stay nice and smooth. Anyways, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. So let me jump in the shower and then I will see you guys whenever I get out. You guys, so I just got out of the shower and I threw my hair up real quick. I did not wash my face. I did, however, take my, I pulled my eyelashes off because they was about to come off in the shower anyways, if I didn't pull them off. So I went ahead and I pulled my eyelashes off and my face still has makeup on it. But I wanted to show you guys, I forgot to tell you guys, this is the body scrub that I use for my body. I love this Himalayan salt a lot better. I actually got these for like $4.99 at Marshalls. Yeah, I think so. This one's still got the tag on it. This one's $5.99. This one was $5.99. So you can get either one of these $5.99 at Marshalls. I got this one because I thought Annalia would like it a lot, but apparently she likes the Himalayan salt too because it's almost gone. Like literally, like I don't even know where the cap's at, you guys. But we have, this one's full. So we have this one to use for now until I go back and buy another one. We definitely use use this body scrub in the shower we both use this like once every other day or once every three days and i love it because i feel like it makes your skin so smooth especially after you shave or wax and take the hair off this is like the icing to the cake and i feel like it just makes your body really smooth it takes all your dead skin off like this right here is a game changer if you guys are not using a body scrub go out and get you one today you can get them at ross Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you can get them anywhere like that. After jumping out of the shower using all the products that I told you that I used, I get out of the shower and I put this body butter on. And you guys, your skin is gonna feel so amazing, trust me. Any body butter will work. It's thick, but once you put it on, it's it's not as thick as it looks. So this is definitely my go-to. Now it's time to wash my face with you guys. And I actually just got this headband at Five Below and I, I got it today actually. You guys, how cute is that? It is so cute. I really bought it for my makeup because like I said, I usually wash my face while I'm in the shower. But since I'm doing a video, I'm gonna use it to wash my face with you guys. So that way I don't get any soap in my hair. I'm gonna start by using warm water. I'm gonna put just a 
tiny bit in my hand because this is really strong. So you're gonna need a lot of water for this. Dry. So now that that's done, Alain's got me hooked on this Shea Moisture 100% Coconut Oil and it's for hydration and you leave it on your face overnight because let me tell you, this Dr. Bronner stuff works for pimples and it will literally have your face so clear, but it will dry out your face. So I like to use this and it helps moisturize. Otherwise in the morning, if I don't use this, I will wake up and my whole entire face will be like dry and cracked open and my face is usually dry anyways like i don't have an oily skin so again this is just what i do i'm not telling you guys to do it because if you put this on your skin and you already have oily skin it's probably not gonna work but this is just what i do and it works for me and it, as you can tell like my skin does not look greasy or anything it doesn't look oily it's just like the right amount of oil for me i feel like so now that i showed you guys my body routine and what i do with my face i'm going to end it with a mask and let me tell you guys i have a lot of masks let me show you guys actually so much leftover stuff from being a um esthetician i'm trying to open this with one hand okay there we go so this is a mask it's a actually a hydro jelly mask i don't know if you guys seen them or not i'll actually put one up here so you guys can see it this is a hydro jelly mask and this is a hydro jelly mask which normally you would mix some of this powder with some water and it will turn into jelly and then you have like a certain amount of time to put it on your face this blue one works to help if your skin's oily this one helps to work to even skin tone and then this one just overall it's got cbd in it and it just helps with overall skincare i have this drawer down here that literally like these are my bowls for right mask i have another headband i have so many spatulas and um spoons you guys this is like my little facial drawer not even kidding should i run you guys downstairs and show you guys my professional skincare stuff do you guys want to see that all right let's go let me show you guys that stuff all right, you guys, so keep in mind that this is all on a shelf in my basement, but I have some moisturizer. I have um, some powder after doing a chemical peel, which, yes, I can do a chemical peel on myself. I have a hydrating gel mask, which this is my absolute favorite. I have face cleaner. I have makeup dissolver. I have detox mask. I have a scrub. You guys, I have so much stuff down here. Like, it's crazy. I'm back upstairs and normally I would put a mask on but today I'm not going to put a mask on just because I did a mask yesterday and I did a mask the day before that but I showed you guys five different masks that I have the three different hydro jelly masks the dehydrating mask downstairs and then the detox mask downstairs so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my stone roller that I have sitting in some ice water because it's really beneficial if it's cold I don't know if you guys can you guys see the ice water in there i don't want to like dump it out but i have it just soaking in some ice water getting it nice and cold and then i usually dip like both sides in it the stone normally gets cold really fast so you don't have to let it sit long what i normally do with this is i like to roll it all over my face but mainly like focusing on my under eyes because i want to get rid of those bags there I would normally do this over my mask, depending what mask I have. Like if I have a gel mask, then I would normally do this over my mask. I, I'll do it over the hydro jelly mask. I will not do it over like the detox mask or a clay mask though. Oh, speaking of a clay mask, so hold on. I have one more mask that I did not show you guys. Let me see if I can pull it out here. Indian Healing Clay Mask. Oh my gosh, you guys, with some apple cider vinegar. Like this is supposed to help so much with acne, you guys. And again, I'm not telling you guys what to use for yourself. I'm just telling you guys what I use and what works for me. But yeah, that's why I bought it because it was supposed to um, work really good with acne, which I don't really have acne, but I do break out occasionally. So that's why I wanted it. See my face is like getting red because this is so cold but i feel so good at the same time i really need to get rid of these bags under my eyes
so that is my everyday night routine well not every day but like i told you guys if i need something if i need like a special treatment or something i'll do something different but for like my daily every night routine that's pretty much it if you guys want to see a different night routine and you guys want to see me go more in depth let me know in the comments down below and i will do that also let me know what other videos you guys want to see like if you guys want any get ready with me or anything like that let me know in the comments down below and i will do that for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button give this video a big fat thumbs up check out our family channel down below until then i will see you guys on my next video